Good morning. Today on the bench we are back with this Akai GX75 and uh, in this part we will do quartz uh, block for, for this device. So we will uh, solder every component that is needed uh, to accomplish this and we have to unsolder all of those uh, components from FG servo so that uh, this uh, quartz servo would uh, kick in <coughs> yeah and would work fine uh, i have prepared all necessary stuff so there is all components all component list will be also added uh, in to the video description or as always into the video and we will try several uh, uh, quartz resonators yes these actually are uh, some serious military graded i think <laughs> quartz resonators and uh, also <coughs> i will show you my technique how to choose uh, them yeah because uh, from the data sheet of this uh, uh, chip, yeah, if we, for example, unsolder 10 pins, yeah, pin number 10, then it will start to work in the different speed, yeah. So this chip actually is uh, also made for uh, for vinyl players, and, and uh, so it has two speeds, uh, 33, 33 and 44. So <clears throat> we will play a bit with them and uh, so for this application I have prepared those uh, those jumpers so we can test e each of the, each of these uh, uh, quartz resonators yes so uh, at first I think let's check what do we have uh, regarding uh, the parameters yeah <clears throat> Okay, so we are playing, and what do we have right here? We have about 136, and uh, wow, and flutter is a bit bobbly, but this tape is not perfect, far, not perfect, you know. So I think this is normal <coughs> because even on the tape we have mentioning that it is well and flutter is better than uh, zero point eight. So we are a bit less, yeah. Okay, so I think let's start. Let's uh, unplug uh, connectors first of all and. Uh, unscrew that board and these connectors also we have to unplug so i will put this device uh, in the better lightning and uh, i think uh, uh, you will see uh, how and what to do yeah so to that okay so let's start So unscrew everything. I had 
actually a bit to wait uh, while all the parts, necessary parts like uh, chips and so on and so forth came to me. Now, uh, I think from that stand of point uh, I will unsolder this connector so I will have more but maybe it's not very necessary first of all we'll have to remove all of uh, those components okay so uh, I'm thinking how how to film this so that you uh, will be able to see everything let's let's think a bit Okay. Okay, I will remove this. So Okay, so let's let's heat up our soldering device. This thing I bought from China, it's it's kind of working, you know. It's doing its job, basically. And this is it. That's why I'm using it, actually. So let's wait while it heats up. Okay, so device heated up. Let's unsolder then those two parts, like just like that. Cool. And in this case, we will have more, more free space, yeah? Uh, okay, so at first, let's unsolder those components from FG servo circuit. I burden myself just for you guys. Okay, I think most of components were successfully Okay, let's let's remove now those components that we unsoldered. Yeah.
Okay, so as you can see, no, we cannot. Now we can. All the components from uh, FG servo we have removed. Uh, this transistor is necessary to still be in this place. So now let's uh, uh, use the wick uh, and let's desolder all those blobs because uh, we will need to solder new components in, yeah? Okay, I think all of required spaces are free now. Yes, they are. So right now let's start soldering everything. So let's change the tip to a more convenient one and Let's move temperature a bit down. Okay, so at first I will solder all jumper wires that is needed. Okay, all the jumpers are in required places. Now let's put those.
and let's solder all of them. Okay, right now I think we will start start to solder everything into the required places, yeah? So, where to start? I think let's start from those uh, two capacitors right here. So C522 and C521. And they are 0.33 Michael Farrett. I'm gonna use Wima caps. Next, next, I think let's go with those two. Uh, or let's solder first of all all the capacitors. So we have now C517 and C513. Uh, so C517 is uh, one microfarad, 50 volts. Also, we can check them before putting in here. I think those are fine. Yeah, just perfectly. So let's use this one. C513 and C513 is 100 microfarad, 10 volt.
afectados. Now for quartz resonator also, let's use those leads. We will uh, remove them after we finish testing. Testing procedure, yeah. So let's solder them now. C519 and C520 is 1800 picofarads. C518, 22 nanofarad. Then C14 and C516. Those should be 10 pico ferrets. And C five twelve is forty seven nano ferrets. Okay, so I think all the caps capacitors are soldered. Now let's go with uh, okay, let's put them um, those chips so or maybe let's do this in the end uh, let's go with um, the resistors okay so we have uh, 524 525 and those are 524 and 25 is 1k2s Those are in place. What uh, do we have next? We have 22, 23. 22, 23 is 430k. Let's go further, it's R5 to 1, R5 to 1, and R18, R19 is 220k.
let's go with 17 and 20. 17, okay, 7. It's only one and it's 17. Now R20, R20 is 270 ohms, R20. Then R, R513, R513 is 10K1. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, fourteen is two hundred and seventy K. Sixteen is two K seven. R515 is 820 ohms, as I can see, not 800 and actually 820 kilo ohms, yeah. And this is it, so let's, let's solder all that, all that mess. Okay, and let's solder that to the second leg of uh, this quartz PPL motor control chip. So it is second pin right here. And as we can see, I think this is also ground, but whatever. Let's solder this in that place. Okay, and these parts from the FG servo, I think we will put somewhere away because we will not need them anymore. So right now let's put the chips in. So for IC505, I'm, I'm not going to use uh, uh, that BA1518 because I do not have this one, but uh, actually I have done the razor that uh, we could use in, in theory, but uh, I, will not gonna, I will not use it right now. So instead I'm going to use that NGM four five five eight L. Then in place of IC five o two is LC four zero one one B. 
so it's this one it's uh, uh, the same actually so it's cd 4011BE yeah let's put it in and the last one is regarding uh, uh, Z9100 model we should have uh, uh, BU 4013B but uh, to perfectly fine works also this one come on it's CD 4013BE okay so let's put it in let's move a bit this in the upper position like that good so it will be better for our testing so in the first place we will test it as uh, speed uh, 44 yes and then we will try my method yeah okay so let's connect everything right now yeah Okay, so let's start testing. Uh, so what I have done, I have um, first of all uh, removed those contacts, uh, so it will be more convenient to just uh, uh, put it in and put it out. Yeah, uh, quartz resonators. Uh, let's group them. Okay, uh, so we have right here. Let's turn off the mice. So we have right here. 4.096 megahertz original is like 4.071 i think uh, here i have uh, that military graded yeah uh, resonator is 4.01.6 megahertz uh, we have right here 4 megahertz one and uh, I think all of those are uh, smaller values. Okay, so uh, let's start to test them. Okay, so firstly, this is the most common one you can get in any almost any electronic shop. This one, yeah. So let's put it uh, in in device, yeah, and let's see what do we have. Uh, with this quartz resonator and speed is like very stable dead on yeah 3000 159 and, uh, and a bit yeah well, on flutter it is not not, not uh, interesting for us right now okay so 
let's let's try then let's try another quartz resonator okay so let's just pop, pop out yeah. let's put in four megahertz yeah okay so four megahertz is in cap stands are spinning let's play and with four megahertz we are way off the a normal speed we are like minus two percent so it is not good yeah let's stop it and now let's change it to, to that military graded one those leads and let's connect this guy so capstans are spinning and what do we have with this guy we are just a bit better than than this one 4.096 well they are close actually and their value yeah okay so now let's grab let's change the speed let's unclip this one and now let's for example test one more second let's test uh, three point zero twenty two five nine okay let's do this okay capstans are spinning so what do we have now regarding speed look at that we are very very close yeah very close only two hertz okay so this is one of the options yeah or we have another one this one is 3000 uh, three point uh, actually three point uh, fifteen three six megahertz here. Yeah. Let's try this one and let's play. What do we have with that? We have about I would say. 0.3% slow yeah but let's remember we are testing with the with this tape and it's not very very super accurate and uh, also what i would like to show you is uh, this one this is from fix your audio and uh, this one is a bit different so this is what we have so we are about six uh, seven hertz faster yeah and also we have another revision of of this yeah and what we have right here Oh, we are very close also to that desired va desired va value here yeah? so I don't know actually I maybe would choose this one because it uh, this this resonator I think it's is closest one to all all of the cassette tapes uh, speed cassette tapes that I have 
we are not gonna test this one because it will be too slow and also this one definitely would be too fast uh, in this case so uh, there is two options leave it like this yeah to use that one uh, in uh, 33 speed yeah or we can we can do this like that yeah? and it is the most common one you can get it anywhere uh, actually yeah and will be we will be a bit a bit too fast you know in this case yeah and if we check for example the same with uh, uh, fix your audio tape then it is also too fast as you can see yeah so i think let's remove this and let's stick with uh, and let's stick with that so the, actually this will be a bit uh, challenge where to put it but i think i will find uh, somewhere the space for it and we will do final uh, final test with it fully installed on the board yeah so that's it for now and uh, let's install it on the board and remove all the test points and test leads uh, and for a bit of explanation regarding this uh, uh, servo ppl con motor control chip uh, that is used uh, uh, as i mentioned uh, pin 10 is uh, 33 or 45 uh, speed so you can choose between them if you so as i mentioned we are going to use this one i do not like this one because it's running a bit too fast in my opinion okay so let's continue our job so this one we will use so let's put it here and all of those let's put away Let's think where to put this guy. Actually, there is a very nice place right here. We can just, um, you know, drill, drill down there. Yeah. And we can put it right here. Because actually this is a very good place would be, yeah. So maybe let's, let's do this then. Okay, so I'm gonna drill the board and uh, we'll be back after after that. We'll be finished. After I finish drilling, I'll be back. Okay, so I have, I have finished drilling. And uh, now we can put this right over here. It will look like that. Yeah. And I think what we can do, we can use a bit of silicone. Okay. Let's use a bit of silicone right here. So 
so that it will not go anywhere. Just like that. Let's wait a bit. Uh, and when it, uh, it will be hard uh, or fused, yeah, we, we can then continue with uh, soldering and so on. Okay, so I have grabbed a few wires. Let's prepare them. Okay, this side. Oh, I think we will have to adopt them. So we will remove this uh, riser. Yeah. Okay, right now we can solder those wires. Let's route them a bit. Now we can screw that board back. Check the fall. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's clean. And what do we see right here? Almost, almost perfect, you know. So this is it then. Uh, let's let's continue with uh, zipping all all the wires. So we've done amazing job. Now this Akai GX75 is officially quartz locked. And from what from what I've seen, uh, it's running very, very good. So stable, very stable actually. And uh, Tape speed is very st is, is not varying, you know, and so on and so forth. So uh, for the last time, we can I think uh, check uh, tape speed and uh, 
and uh, after that i think uh, i will end this video and uh, because uh, i've spent lots of time right now uh, on this kind of modification so okay so let's let's check the bus for a final time So, as I mentioned before, speed is very stable, so it's like first part of the tape, let's uh, rewind the cassette and let's see how it is from, from the start. As you can see, It's variating just a little bit because uh, this tape is not perfect. Uh, wow, and platter. Oh, it's like 1.1%, point one three, and uh, yeah, so. And the speed is also plus minus 0 0.2, so. So it's a bit variating, but uh, not as much as with uh, that FG servo circuit. So this, I think, is we have achieved very great result. Let's also check uh, the speed uh, in the end of the tape. This is the end of the tape. As you can see, there is absolutely like no variation at all from what we, we've seen, yeah? Okay, so I think this, this will be it for this video. I hope you liked uh, uh, that uh, modification. And uh, if you have some questions, uh, of course, you can ask them. I, I will put uh, under the video in the description also i will put my group uh, that i have in, in the facebook so you, we can discuss a bit more about this modification if you would like to and uh, regarding those uh, quartz resonators uh, i still have a few of them so maybe if i'll find uh, more of these uh, military graded uh, um, uh, parts uh, uh, I will may may maybe do some uh, modification kits, so uh, all the necessary parts I put uh, like in the bag with the instruction, and maybe I, I will sell, sell them, uh, you know, if, we, if you would be interested into that, please let me know. So uh, this is it for this video. This will be a very nice device. In the next video, we still have to do uh, uh, all the electronic al alignment procedures. Uh, in this case, we will not have to align uh, tape speed anymore uh, because of this guy. Yeah. Okay, so this is it then. Hope you liked the video. Uh, as always, uh, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.